good morning. This morning's task. Lexus GS 470. Um, came in for a transmission service. Came in on a tow truck, not driving. But it's going to leave out of here driving. Let's get it. So here we have the vehicle up in the air, off the ground. I'm removing the skid plate on the belly pan. Exposing the rest of the transmission pan. Going to remove uh, the oil from the trans pan. And uh, take all the bolts out and get our trans pan down. Got to get it out of the car. Get all this nastiness down and out of the way. So we can get all this goodness all up inside this trans already. And get this thing rolling. Here I bring in the oil catch. Get a little adjustment on it so I can get it out the way of your face. Out of the view. Ta-da! <laughs> Removing the drain plug. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> we got our oil coming out, splashing all over the place. I did this job a little messy. I let the oil splash all over the place. I let the drain pan fall off and splash all over the place. You'll, you'll see in a little bit. <laughs> stinky, stinky. The oil been in there for a long time. It was supposed to be like a burgundyish, reddish color. Um, it turns burgundy. It's supposed to be like a dark red. It turns burgundy once it got some miles on it. But this oil that came out of this trans looked like it was like engine oil. It was real dark. Real dark, real black. The filter was clogged. But I got all of this out of there. All the mess off the um, magnets inside the pan, which you'll see shortly. And changed up the filter. And what you also will see shortly. And uh, got everything back together. Got this thing on the road and riding again. Pulled out the shop and went like 100 miles an hour up the highway. Easy. Easy, easy. This little trick that I do for these transmissions um, works out pretty well with this service. Um, a lot of times people want to change these transmissions. This, this, this Lexus transmission particularly is not a cheap one. Um, they're very expensive, very costly. And before you go, and, oh yeah, I just banged my head. <laughs> that hurt. But yeah, before you go and try and change up these transmissions, try to service first. Um, it makes a, a big difference. It's a lot cheaper to try to service than changing the transmission. Um, I suggest going this route before going and look for a used one or a rebuild or a new one. Um, this is the way to go. Try the transmission service first. But yeah, I'm about to get this pan down and out of this thing and uh, get on to the next step. The Milwaukee battery powered ratchet is pretty dope. I had a snap on one. It worked for a number of years, but it died. But the Milwaukee's been working pretty well for uh for some time now. She's done seen some engine transmissions in her day. Taking stuff apart, putting stuff together. I mean you can't tighten the bolts completely with it, but for certain jobs you can and most jobs this is this thing is awesome. It makes uh getting these bolts out of breeze. Here come the pan. Oh no. <laughs> it's about to fall out. Probably after this boat. A couple more. And down here to come on its own. Splash all over the place. Whatever was left in it. Here it comes. <laughs>
So we gave the pan a click clean up, a little spiff, wipe off all our magnets, make sure none of that shit has any dirt and residue on it from the old stuff. We're gonna line this uh, surface of the pan where the gasket goes with a little bit of spray adhesive so the gasket stays there. And then we're gonna put the new filter up underneath the trans, put our pan back on. Let's get it. Don't over tighten these parts. You go online, you can find all the torque specs for everything. Don't run your bolts in with fucking battery power tools. Start them all by hand first. So yeah, I so said you can find the torque specs, but do as I say, not as I do. One of those things. Here we have it, filter installed. Time to put up our pan. Time to reinstall our pan. Time to refill. So we pumped the fluid back into the trans, got everything all cleaned up and heat shield, well, undercarriage shield back on and training uh, pan all wiped down. It's time to put this thing on the ground, let it sit and run for a few minutes, then take it for a ride. Just like that, we have great success. It is a driver again, ready to come pick it up. Mm -hmm.